in this video I want to prove the double angle formulas which are very useful when you are differentiating or integrating so let us look at the proof of uh, all these um, double angle formula so let us start with sine 2a okay so let's write the formula first sine 2a is 2 sine a cos a 2 sine a cos a okay now let us look let us prove it so this is the proof so sine 2a can be written as sine a plus a now I'm going to use the compound angle formula of sine a plus b now I have made three videos on these three compound angle formulas you can refer that if you want so sine a plus a using this compound angle formula I can write this is sine a cos b your a and b are both a so I can write sine a cos a plus cos a sine b so that can be written as cos a sine a this is nothing but sine a cos a cos a sine a can again be written as sine a cos a okay this so therefore i can say that sine 2 a is 2 sine a cos a 2 sine a cos a so it's pretty easy that this double angle formula is actually compound angle okay now cos 2 a there are three formulas so let us start so let's write the formula first so cos 2a uh, this this is what we want to prove first so cos 2a can be written as cos a plus a now what's the compound angle formula for cos cos a plus b is cos a cos b minus sine a sine b okay so cos a plus a can be written as cos a cos a minus sine a sine a now cos a cos a is nothing but cos squared a minus sine a sine a is sine squared a so we have proved the first result that cos 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a so let me change color so I can now write cos I can let me rewrite cos 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a now sine squared plus cos squared is sine squared a plus cos squared a is 1 so in place of cos cos squared a I can write 1 minus sine squared a this is this and this are the same and then you can you have to write this minus sine squared a so this is nothing but 1 minus 2 sine squared a so this is the second formula that cos 2a is 1 minus so this is so we have proved this we have also proved this uh, 1 minus 2 sine squared a okay so we need to prove the third result third result is also easy so let us take again cos 2a cos 2a is cos squared a minus sine squared a now sine squared a can be written as 1 minus cos squared a so i'm going to write this as cos squared a minus 1 minus cos squared a now opening the bracket so this is cos squared a minus 1 plus cos squared a okay so cos cos 2a is cos squared a plus cos squared cos squared a is 2 cos squared a minus 1 so we have proved all the three results of cos 2a so cos we have proved all the three results so let us look at tan 2a okay so tan 
uh, tan 2a can be written as tan a plus a. Now let us look at the compound angle formula for tan. Tan a plus b is tan a plus tan b over 1 minus tan a tan b. So your a and b are both a. So using the compound angle formula I can write this is nothing but tan a plus tan a over 1 minus tan a times tan a. So tan 2a is tan a plus tan a is 2 tan a over 1 minus tan a times tan a is tan squared a.